Your dog or cat is rubbing their eye. You see discharge coming out of the corner of the eye. This is quite likely an eye infection or conjunctivitis. Here's how to tell what it is, if it's appropriate to treat at home, plus my top seven remedies that actually work for your dogs and cats if they have an eye infection. Are you looking to learn more about natural pet health and wellness? You've come to the right place. Click the link to subscribe to Veterinary Secrets. Tula, she keeps getting recurrent eye infections. I have tried an array of different home remedies. I'm gonna show you exactly what I've used, but most importantly, what does actually work for Tula and most likely what's gonna work for your dog or cat. There's a number of different conditions that can affect our dog and cat's eyes, but conjunctivitis or inflammation of that red tissue around the eye, conjunctivitis, that's the most common one and that one is most amenable and most appropriate for home treatment. Think about yourself ever having pink eye, that's very much the same thing that could be applicable to your dog or cat. You've got these red inflamed eyes. Your dog has red inflamed eyes. Your cat might have red inflamed eyes. Tula is a great example of a pet that has conjunctivitis. Number one, her eyes are irritated. You can see her squinting her eyes. If you look in the corner of her left eye here, you can see this discharge, that sort of mucoid slash purulent looking discharge. The pink tissue located underneath the eyelids you can see the lower lid here that's called the conjunctiva. The conjunctiva, that's the tissue that contains many of the blood vessels helping support the eye health. It is red, inflamed, slightly swollen. That's very typical of an animal that's going to have a conjunctivitis. Some dogs and cats are going to be rubbing their eyes, perhaps with their paws, maybe rubbing it on the ground or the carpet. Their eyes are irritated. I mean, you know what it's probably like. You've had an irritated red eye. You're like, you want to rub it. Your dog or cat, they're doing the same thing. There's certain warning signs to look for though where you shouldn't be considering conjunctivitis. You should be seeing your veterinarian right away. You know, if it's excessively painful, right? They just won't even open their eye. It's just so, so sore. You look at the surface of the eye, it's called the cornea. If it looks cloudy, it's not relatively clear, that's a big warning sign. Maybe an ulcer, go and see your veterinarian. If it looks bulged in any way at all, that may be glaucoma. I mean, all those weren't immediate veterinary visits. But if all you're seeing is what Tula has in terms of that discharge in the corner of her eye, that slight puffiness of the conjunctiva, the slight redness, most likely you're dealing with conjunctivitis and then that's appropriate to use some of these home remedies. In some cases, in some of the dogs, it could be a primary viral eye infection. Other cases, it should be dander or dust, for instance, these irritants irritating the eye causing that inflammation. Our cats are slightly different. The primary cause in our cats would be getting the cat flu, either from the herpes virus, possibly the Khaleesi virus, showing up as a viral conjunctivitis. But for those cats, you're gonna see this conjunctiva that is red, swollen, and you're gonna see some form of eye discharge, but it's a virus that's causing it. In other cases, our cats could have bacteria, i.e. chlamydia. In other cases, another microorganism called a mycoplasma. But once again, in all of those underlying causes, you're going to see conjunctivitis. So regardless of the underlying cause, this is what you're going to see what Tula has. If you're not comfortable treating your dog or your cat at home, you're not sure at all what's going on, obviously first go see your veterinarian, have them make a confirmatory diagnosis. But if you're pretty comfortable thinking it's likely conjunctivitis and or you have an animal that's had repeated bouts, repeated eye infections, Tula has had multiple cases of conjunctivitis that I'm pretty confident in saying, yes, it's conjunctivitis, she has no other serious underlying clinical signs, then I'm using some of these home remedies. Number one, and this is applied to any animal that has conjunctivitis, I want you to do a warm water compress. We have a half a cup of warm water, and we also have some gauze. You want the water to be quite hot, obviously not hot enough you're boiling tea, but enough that it's just pretty warm when you touch it with your finger. We've got this warm or hot water, I'm going to soak the gauze in it, then I'm going to take the gauze and apply it over top of the corner of Tula's eye. I'm going to hold that for 30 to 60 seconds till it starts to cool down. And as I'm doing that, that's just providing some relief to the eye. And next, it's going to allow me to then wipe out the corner of her eye. And that's right, we're just going to clean your little eye. See, that just takes away some of that inflammation. And I think in general, that's just a good idea to start with any animal with an eye problem. Just the compress. It's the safest, easiest thing. A bit of gauze, a bit of warm water. Do that four times a day. You're wiping out the excess debris or the discharge. Number two, simple and easy ingredients coming from the kitchen. One cup of boiled water. Regular non-iodized salt. 
one half a teaspoon of salt to the one cup of boiled water, we are making a saline solution. You're gonna stir it really well so that salt is fully dissolved in the hot water. Here is our inexpensive home saline solution. The salt is a great natural antibacterial, inexpensive way for you to treat a bacterial conjunctivitis. And it's safe to use this flush in your dogs and your cats. You're gonna allow this to cool and then you're gonna draw a small amount up, about a mil in a syringe. You're gonna pull your dog or cat's lower lid down in the affected eye. You're gonna apply in one to three drops, four times a day for five to seven days. In general, if it's something that's gonna help your dog or cat, you're gonna usually see a response in one day or 24 hours. So because you know you're gonna see results pretty quick, I mean, it's a great inexpensive thing to start with. Because we're trying to be as sterile as possible, you're gonna remake this solution every day. What if you're not sure what your dog or cat has? You don't wanna make one of these home remedies. You just want to go to the pharmacy, pick up an eye drop that is safe to give my dog or cat. Like Dr. Jones, what's the safest one? Remedy number three. These are lubricating eye tears, typically used for dry in people. It doesn't really matter what the underlying eye condition is. When there is an inflamed conjunctiva, the eyes are red, irritated. Typically they're drying out. If you can provide additional lubrication, it's going to make your dog, your cat, yourself much happier. These aren't gonna necessarily treat a bacterial or a viral infection, but if we have a dog or cat that has a primarily allergic reaction, there's just primary inflammation. Number one, it's gonna make their eyes feel so much better. And many of those cases, after one to two days of treatment, they're gonna get better on their own. So just symptomatic treatment with lubricating eye tears may all be that's needed. I'm gonna be the guinea pig for this one. Tula, you get a break, yay. So I just want you to tilt your dog or your cat's head back aka this, pull down the lower lid, see if I can get it. You're putting in one to two drops. Ah, there, uh, got the drop in. Wow, feels pretty good. Lubricating eye drops, they work for me. They will be beneficial for your dog or cat. Number four, it comes from the kitchen. It involves something that you and I can drink. This is the awesome eye home remedy. This is tea. Two of the teas have been studied and shown to be effective against conjunctivitis, bacterial, viral, inflammatory. There's another tea that is often mentioned, which has no studies. I'd recommend you don't use it. Chamomile, yes, it's great for sedation. It's great to help you get to sleep. Don't use it for your dog or cat's eye infection. In fact, the only study I found on chamomile for eye infections show that in some cases it can actually cause conjunctivitis. There's nothing else to show it's effective at all against bacteria or viruses growing in the conjunctiva. So number one, don't use chamomile. Two studies shown to be effective. Number one, and most important as far as I'm concerned, this is green tea. The second tea, which a bunch of studies also effective, this is black tea. Here we have Earl Grey. A green tea and black tea, they're shown both to be anti-inflammatory. They both have antibacterial properties. But the green tea as well has got some specific antiviral properties. And it's even been shown to be beneficial as some of these autoimmune diseases, diseases where they're attacking, say, the glands of the eyes that produce eye tears, i.e. dry. Green tea has been also used for that. It is like one of the ideal eye medications. If all you have in your house is black tea, that's completely fine. But as I said earlier, I advise the green tea. Here's our concentrated green tea solution. This is a quarter cup of boiled water. So we know it's sterile. I've put in one green tea bag. This is sat now for about 30 minutes. So it's cool and concentrated. The ideal IT eye infection treatment. I want you to drop about a mil into a syringe. I want you to tilt your dog's head back, pull down his or her lower lid. You're putting in two to four drops into that lower lid. I don't want you to do that for a minimum of four times a day. You can keep this in the fridge, but warm it up for about 30 minutes before you do your follow-up treatment. And then you want to be making a fresh batch every day. So you want to be reusing this tea bag day after day. Within Tula, she actually responds within 24 hours. Like this is a great eye infection remedy. I'm going to treat Tula's other eye as well. It's got a little bit of discharge. I think what's happened is it's springtime here and you're reacting to some of those pollens and it's giving you a little bit of an eye thing going on. Pretty typical for her, seems to happen every spring. But I've tried a bunch of different, even veterinary drugs and the tea is working better than anything else. Number five, something sweet. 
we are talking about honey. Honey is a really impressive natural antibacterial. It has antiviral properties as well as anti-inflammatory properties. There are a bunch of different studies using honey for eye diseases and in particular conjunctivitis. Boiled water, one half a cup. Then our honey, we're adding in one tablespoon. Mix it well till the honey is fully dissolved in the water. Once it's cooled, you can draw a small amount up, about a mil, into a syringe. And before you put it in your pet's eye, your own eye, just do a little test. Put a drop on your hand and just see. Just make sure it's lukewarm. You don't want hot water going in there. I'm going to be the guinea pig once again using my other eye. I'm going to put in one drop. And how does that feel? Now it's been about a minute. My eye actually feels really good. It feels pretty nice and soft and fairly lubricated. But definitely at first, it was a little bit of a shock and a little, a little irritating. But the honey, it is a wonderful antibacterial. And we have many bacteria that are resistant to pretty much all the antibiotics. The only thing that's effective that works against them is honey. So it can, be, it can be used in our dogs, it can be used in our cats. So we have a dog or cat with a pretty serious bacterial conjunctivitis. Yes, you may want to consider honey. But based on how irritating it was with my eye, I'd still encourage you to start with that tea. Number six. These are over-the-counter medicated eye drops. Number one, the one I like the most, this is Samilisan homeopathic eye drops. In particular, it's got the ingredient euphrasia. Unfortunately, see recently the FDA, they forced Millisan to pull their eye drops from the United States. They claim that the silver sulfate, which is used as a preservative, could potentially cause agria. You know, that's a big thing they all go on and on about by the use of colloidal silver. But it's a homeopathic eye drop. I've used it. I've used it on my dog. I've used it on my cats. It's got this neat little dropper that comes out like this. And all you're doing is applying one drop to your dog or cat's affected eye four times a day super soothing found to be really effective typically five days of treatment four times a day is all that's needed to treat an eye infection if you can get this pink eye relief i encourage you to try it polysporin for eyes it contains polymyxin gramicidin i did use it on my cat murray i did use it on tula i haven't found it to be especially effective but if you have a dog or cat with a bacterial conjunctivitis you can't get to the vet you want to try something over the counter this is another option, one to two drops, four times a day, five days. The third OTC remedy to consider is this, clear eyes. It's specifically for allergic conjunctivitis. The active ingredient is naphthazolene, and it is used in our dogs and our cats. If your dog or cat has acute red eyes, and we're suspecting that it's an underlying allergic conjunctivitis, so they don't have bacteria, they don't have a virus, yes, you could definitely consider it. You're putting in one drop three times a day for a maximum of five days. I have used this product. I did try it with Tula. Wasn't super impressed. But it may just be her and she didn't respond to it. So yes, it is another OTC option to consider. Number seven. We're talking oral supplements to treat the underlying disorder in the first place. Number one for our cats. Most of our cats get recurring eye infections. My first cat in practice, his name was Cleo. This nice, cool little orange tabby. When I adopted him as a kitten, he had a horrible case of the cat flu. And it went into remission. It's an underlying herpes virus. It lives in one of the cranial nerves, a trigeminal nerve. During times of stress, he would start sneezing. His eyes would swell up. He'd get this red conjunctivitis and the discharge. The only thing that really helped, could help really keep it at bay, was this amino acid, L-lysine. L-lysine, it's shown to be effective against the herpes virus. If you've got a cat with recurring conjunctivitis, most likely we're dealing with the herpes virus, consider lysine treatment. Standard dose of 100 milligrams per 10 pounds body weight daily, and you need to give it for a minimum of three months. These tablets are 1,000 milligram L lysine, so you need to be giving a tenth of a tablet. You can also get it as a lysine paste through your veterinarian, many places online. And it honestly, I saw many, many cats respond well to it. So you've got a cat, recurring herpes virus infection, get them on some L lysine, but do a minimum of a 12 week trial. For dogs, the most common cause of these recurring eye infections, it's an underlying allergy. So what you need to be doing is managing the underlying allergy. And there's two big supplements of all the supplements for allergies you should be considering. Number one, a good quality essential fatty acid supplement, i.e. our krill oil supplement. We can look at doses of 500 milligrams per 50 pounds of body weight daily. Dr. Jones's ultimate omega-3 formula for dogs and cats.
the anti-inflammatory portion of the omega-3 fatty acids, EPA and DHA, they are really critical if you're gonna imagine your dog's underlying allergy and treat these recurring eye infections. Second supplement you should consider, in my opinion, quercetin. Quercetin, the flavonoid isolated from red onion, apple peel, etc. Of all the different supplements we've tried, it's the one that's shown to be most beneficial for animals that have these underlying allergy. You start with the core foundation of the EFAs, and then you add in the quercetin. We're looking at doses of the quercetin of 50 milligrams per 15 pounds of body weight daily. Your dog or cat has an eye infection, follow some of those steps, those suggested remedies. You can then successfully and safely treat your dog's eye infection at home. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Energy Secrets of how to treat your dog or cat's eye infection at home. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and when you click that link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.